Hello, Annette. How are you? Thank you for um, being with us here on this Wednesday evening. I am happy that you're here. We're just waiting for a few more people to come in, of course. How did you spend your day, Annette? Share with me. How has your day gone? What have you done? Um, Hello, hello, my darlings. Thank you for joining us today for this live check-in on this beautiful Wednesday evening. I am so happy that you guys are here. Be sure that once you are on the live, you are leaving a comment in the live feed so that I can say hi to you and so that I, that I can know, excuse me, how you spent your day, how is everything going, where you are in your city or in your state. You don't have to give too many details and let me know what you've been up to today. So, so far we have Helen, hi, Leadria, hello. Jamarius, hey, thank you for joining us today. I appreciate it. Katrina, hi, thank you for joining us. How have your days been? What have you guys done today? Liz, hello, thank you for joining us today. I am so happy that you are here. Um, like I shared with you guys the last time I was on on Saturday, I have been spending my days having um, dance parties, <laughs> listening to um, my favorite type of music, soca, reggae, salsa, anything from home. Um, I listen on Team Soca. I don't know how many of you in here are Caribbean or you may have Caribbean roots, but it's an online radio station that all they play is strictly soca, calypso, some reggae, some reggaeton, not too much, but that's where I go to get my um, Caribbean music and now it would see my daily workout. So I spent the day getting ready um, for this live as well as working online with my students and I also spent some time dancing, having a dance party by myself. <laughs> so Sharon, thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Donna, hi in Nashville. Dorothy, welcome, welcome. And Jamarius, you're in Alabama. Now tell me, are you guys uh, on lockdown where you are? Um, let me know what's going on. You know, right now we're in this social distancing mode. Um, states have been locking down, you know, just to stop the spread of what we've been dealing with recently. So just let me know if you guys are safe. I would like to know that you guys are okay, that you have everything that you need, of course, and that you are just spending the day just biding your time and waiting until perhaps this is over sooner than later. Let's see, Diane says, I spent the day outside painting my favorite rocking chair. That's a good one. Hi, Miss Anonymous. Hi, how are you? How are you? How are you? Liz, I'm doing well. I spent my day at work today. It was a good day. And thank you, my darling, for being one of our essential workers. You know, every time we meet, we want to make sure that we're thanking our essential workers for being out there, the services that you guys are providing for us are priceless and we cannot thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you enough. So we appreciate you here at Danny's Darlings. Um, Katrina, oh, making Easter baskets, awesome. Very sunny, early and not rainy, you barbecue today, yum, yum, yum. Hi, Carla, welcome, welcome, welcome. Donna, you guys are in semi-lockdown, okay, Katrina, yes. Yes, Pamela and Annette were on lockdown and social distancing. So pretty much it's going on across the um, country. I heard on the news today that more and more states, you know, the last of them who have not yet locked their states down are getting ready to do so. So it's about to be interesting. But like I said, just make sure that whatever it is you guys are doing, that you are staying safe, you are protecting yourselves, your family, um, and you know, we want to make sure that we are here, um, to carry on with each other. Dorothy says partial lockdown, spent my day organizing my kitchen pantry. And you know, Donna, I have done that and done that again and done that again. 
I know I might need to move to my linen closet now. I'm looking at it. You see, I just shifted my eyes. I may have to do that, you know, to get away from um, just doing things redundantly. But um, I am glad that you were able to get that done today. Carla making masks. I think, oh, if I can remember her name, Miss Paulette. On Saturday, she said the same thing, that she was making masks on Saturday. So awesome job. What are you going to be using those masks for? Are they for a party? Are they for a party or um, an event? What are they for, if I may ask? Um, lockdown in Pennsylvania, just cleaning up and making plans for a sister bridal shower. When is that bridal shower supposed to be? Um, I'm praying with you. I know, you know, this is just taking everybody's plans and literally dash them to the side. I often wonder about brides or, you know, grooms and, and brides who are supposed to be getting married in, you know, these weeks. I often wonder, are they okay? Are they stressing? You know, are the event halls going to work with them to reschedule out at a later date? You know, there's just so many things that are up in the air right now. And uh, like we've said, this is just unprecedented. And so I often think about those things. Um, curfew from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. Okay, back to work tomorrow, Helen. Thank you for being an essential worker as well. We appreciate you. You mop the kitchen and the bathroom. 718. Wow. So yes, I'm praying with you, honey. I'm praying with you and for you, for your sister and her bridal shower and that her wedding will be able to happen as scheduled. Okay. Thank you for sharing. So you're making the mask for your grandchildren and your, and your other family members. Hi, JLR. How are you? Thank you for joining us. We're just chit-chatting to see how everyone is and to see how we have spent our day. Like I shared earlier, you know, I worked, of course, online. I teach, so I had to get in my time today with my students, interacted with a few of them today, which I appreciated, and then, you know, got their assignments ready, graded some assignments, and then when that was over, I prepared for today or our time now, and then when I was finished that, I had me a little dance party. Just trying to get my mind off of things and, you know, trying to get the exercise in um, as well. So I thank all of you for being here. I just want to share with you that today, this is just a live check-in to see how everyone is doing. And then what we're going to do is talk about a collaboration I would like all of us to participate in. So we will talk about that a little later. Just make sure that everyone is getting into the chat. So has there been any interesting news that you have heard from your little spot, wherever you may be? Today, we learned that our governor has waived the 180 days um, that we are supposed to be in school, or rather I should say that students are supposed to be learning for 180 days. And already there has been one district who has just canceled their school year for, who has already canceled their school year for the rest of the year. So it'll be interesting to see what other counties or districts may follow that. I know the districts that um, have a very strong digital presence like mine, meaning that we can uh, put work out there for our students. We have a very strong um, digital program, digital presence that we might not be so quick to cancel, but it will just be interesting to see how the different superintendents will maneuver around that um, because um, at last count, I think this week makes eight more weeks that we have to go until the end of the school year. So it'll just be different or interesting rather I meant to say so we're just hoping um that we can hi T Harris how are you thank you so very much Carla thank you thank you thank you I appreciate you so we're just curious some of my co-workers and myself just to see how some of the other superintendents in the districts around us are going to maneuver that situation as like I said this whole entire thing has just taken everything and turned it topsy-turvy upside down on its head head so okay I've caught up with everyone 
So now the topic for today is how, and I know, I, I told you guys on Saturday, if I have to bring one more thing in this house, I'm quite sure my kids are going to perform a mutiny. Because as you guys know, as crafters, as creators, you don't necessarily wait until you have an idea to source your medium, your mediums. And what I mean by that is that as a crafter or creator, you want to make sure that you have the things you need so that when that idea strikes you, you can go ahead to your craft cabinet and you can pull out the things that you think you might need to create the vision that you have. And so for me, I tend to do, well, not now because we're in lockdown, but I have tended in the past to purchase things that I could see I would be able to use this for perhaps a wedding centerpiece, or I would be able to use this perhaps for a baby shower, or I would be able to use this for a home decor. And as a result, I have a shelf, uh, which was supposed to be my crafting space in my garage. And now I am stealing space also in my guest bedroom. And so when we think about the state that we find ourselves in now where we are on lockdown, and for some of us not being able to go to our favorite craft stores, whether they may be Dollar Tree or Joann's or Michael's, wherever you go, um, you can go to Walmart and find some interesting things also. We are now in a conundrum to the point where we have to think, okay, if I can't go out to get the things I need, I'm going to have to use what I have in storage. And this is where I, as a crafter, as a creator, am finding myself. So I am just curious to know, what are you guys doing in this time, during this time rather, I should have said, in creating things and are you using things from your stockpile let's discuss that in the chat session below i would love 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 to hear from you while i'm waiting for answers to come in i don't know if you remembered what we created not this saturday but last week saturday is sitting right here behind me um our mirrored riser and as you can see, we have, you know, our Dollar Tree mirrors. Underneath, we have our Dollar Tree frames, right? And then we have our mirror tile that we purchased. And I think the link is already placed under the video if you're interested in getting some of those. But I wanted you to know that when I had the idea to make this, uh, which is my point, I did not have to purchase anything. I had already all of these things in my stockpile. And so I was able to go to my craft room um, or my craft storage and pull out the things I would need as soon as the idea struck. I did not have to go shopping. So I'm interesting to see how many of you have ideas and how many of you can go directly to your storeroom and pull the things that you would need to make this craft. I remember one of our viewers, I can't remember her name, but I remember one of our viewers saying, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Um, I have X, Y, and Z, but I only have one five by five mirror. And there was someone else that said, oh my goodness, I can't wait to make this. I have everything that I need, but I don't have um, the mosaic tiles, the, the mirror, the mosaic mirrors. And so I am just curious, right, to see what are you doing as a crafter during this time? So Katrina, thank you so very much for responding. Uh, Katrina says, yes, I'm using what I have, even boxes. Girl, let me tell you, when I bought my, these two desks um, recently and I set them up, the desk came in the sturdiest, of course, because it's glass, cardboard containers that I ever did see. And when I was throwing away the boxes that they came in, I found two very strong pieces of cardboard that I said, I don't care um, what I'm, I'm, I don't know rather, what I'm going to make with these, but I know I'm going to make something. And so Katrina, I hear you 100%, you're using even boxes. I now have an idea for the two pieces of cardboard that I was able to source from those boxes and that is just going to have to be a medium that I'm going to use to create my next 
few pieces. So thank you so very much for Katrina for sharing that with us. Um, making floral wreaths and swags. Very good. So you have enough to do that, enough of your materials to do that. Thank you for sharing, Natasha. I have also found that I've been pulling down a lot of things, like things that I've created, and taking them down or pulling them apart so that I can recycle um, to see, of course, what I can do because, again, I cannot go out. While we wait for more responses, when we go live again on Saturday, what we are going to be making are some candle holders. I was talking to a friend of mine today and I said, I don't know which direction to go, meaning I have two visions. However, I don't know if we are going to have time to do both on that Saturday. Now, typically, we tend to go for an hour because I like to um, honor you guys' time. So I want you to tell me, as we're waiting for people to say what they're doing and how they're using their craft storage, I want you to tell me, would you like to see both ideas on Saturday? It may take us, I would say, an hour 15, an hour 20, no more than an hour and 30 minutes, or would you like me to do the one craft on Saturday and perhaps save the other four next week, Saturday, God willing. So let's discuss that as well. T said, I decoupage four serving tables. Wow, with family photos, all with what I had on hand. And I can imagine how beautiful that is. Thank you for sharing that idea. I might have to do that because I have so many pictures. So many pictures throughout the years when I was young, a teenager, um, pictures of my grandmother who you, you know we lost last year, pictures of my children as you know they've been coming up from babies even up until now. And I often wonder where am I gonna find <laughs> frames, you know, or let's say wall enough to place all of the frames that I would need to showcase my pictures. So Katrina, not Katrina, I'm sorry, T. Thank you so much for sharing that idea because I may just have to use it one day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Annette says she's learning how to use her Cricut. Awesome, awesome. Carla, I'm doing a lot of arts and craft and spring cleaning, yep. And they shouldn't have me doing everything. Girl, I hear you. I, I absolutely hear you. Today, er, a little earlier, I shared with um, someone that I just felt like I had to get out of the house. <laughs> Before I shared that on the phone, I literally felt like the walls were closing in on me and I, you know, I decided, let me just go, you know, get ready, let me put on some clothes and even if I just have to go for a drive in my car, I need to get out. Suffice it to say, I was not able to, um, but very slowly and very thankfully, that feeling left and perhaps um, since we're not going to be live tomorrow, it's Thursday, perhaps I may go take a drive tomorrow. But yes, I do, like I've said before, I do, you know, as an extrovert, I've shared this with you guys before, I do miss going out. I do miss the interactions with people. I do miss, you know, greeting my friends and hugging them or shaking hands and, you know, hey, what's up? And, you know, all of that stuff. So, um, yeah, I do miss it. And... The shunning has turned everything on its head. Doing a lot of arts and crafts. It depends on how long and it, and it takes and what it is. And I agree. And this is why Katrina and the rest of you, um, I am debating it, whether I should do both um, crafts or whether I should just do one and perhaps save the other one until the following Saturday. So Liz agrees to one at a time. Well, Liz is saying one at a time. And that's where my mind is. So we'll see. Thank you, ladies, for joining in. Now, for those of you who are online, you can see that Katrina's name is highlighted in green and she has a jewel beside her name. And that is because Katrina is a member of our channel. And as being a member of our channel, there are some perks that she gets just for being a member. Um, membership is now varied and it depends on what tier you would like to come in. But I think the base 
is five dollars um, per month and in that five dollars per month of course you can cancel at any time but it allows you to get member only videos it allows you to get member only lives we did a few when I was on a few um, months ago where um, those members actually were able to get a phone my phone number the, the channel's phone number and they were able to call in and chat with us live on the phone and so um, if that's something you would be interested in please um, feel free to click that member button and see what you can see um, Annette says I can't get to be a member for some reason why is that I don't I don't understand um, let me have a look at it and you know the channel's email so please feel free to email me and perhaps we can look at it together I would appreciate that all right so hey miss focus girl how are you thank you for joining us this evening I'm so happy that you are here thank you thank you thank you yes 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 so like I was saying, we were discussing whether or not you're using your stockpile at home to create what you are creating. And what I wanted to share with you today as I take um, a look at the time is an idea I have for our channel. Like I said, I am trying not to repeat the same old things that are out there or even the same things that we have done already. I am trying to, thank you, Annette. I am trying to be sure that we are sticking, of course, to crafting and creating using new mediums like we're going to introduce our Cricut in a few um, weeks, as well as the new technique that I showed you on Saturday. Just trying to make sure. Hi. Hi, Pamela. Thank you also for being a member. Oh, okay. She says she sees now. I'm a member as well but I haven't been able to see that while on chat nor see my pic okay you can see it now thank you for clarifying that so yes yeah, so what I want to do now is add some more body to our channel when we first started we used to have the copycat series which I'm about to bring back we used to have a bridal series as well which I'm about to bring back of course you know that we also have craftmas where in the month of December, we go ahead and we create 25 things, 25 days of crafting back to back to back where we look for our Craftmas mascot, Mr. Reindeer, and we have a ball, a blast with that. And then last year, yes, we started our Craftmas in July. So we have a few things going for us here on this channel. And today I want to introduce a new something that we are going to get into. So let me share it with you. Now, how many of you, and you can respond in the chat um, so that I can know who you are. How many of you are familiar with the TV show that comes on a Food Network, Chopped? Okay. It is, hey baby girl, you're back. Do you have a, did you have a good time? Yeah. Did you guys take pictures? Yes. Are you ready to take me tomorrow? Oh yeah, we can go tomorrow. Yeah, because I have to get out of the house. <laughs> Not one more day. And um, if you're familiar with, hey Huawei, how are you? Thank you for being here. It's okay. Yeah, <laughs> running off at the mouth. Okay, fine. Um, yes. So we are going to, if you know, excuse me, oh, if you know um, the TV show Chopped, let me know. If you are a fan of Chopped, also let me know. This is one of my favorite, I should say, culinary shows on TV. And most times I watch it on Tuesday night. Of course, I put it on my DVR. Who watches commercials in this day and age? Not me. And so I would DVR, uh, have it recorded on my DVR, and then I would watch it later in the evening. And so I have been watching this show for, Lord, many, 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 many moons. And how I was introduced to it was by my brother who used to watch that show many, many years ago with my father. And there was one day I was talking to daddy, my dad, my father on the phone, and he was telling me about this show. He's like, oh, um, your brother has me watching 
this TV show and it's so good and you know I'm just curious to see what the, the, the chefs can make with the weird food that they give them and I was like really what show is that so when he told me of course I pulled it up and I sat with him and watched on the phone and we laughed about it and you know cried because I think it was a, a crazy basket ingredient um, that show and you know I, I, I would say as a judge I wasn't eating that I don't I don't want that move that from in front of me I'll just judge based on um, how the meal looks right and so from then on I have been watching this show and so I was talking yes chopped is fun yay so you guys know okay so now you have an idea of where I am going so I was talking today with One Way Designs and he gave me the idea of what we're talking about today, using what we have on hand to create something new. And when he gave me the idea, so let's give One Way a thumbs up for that, yay! Thank you so much, One Way uh, Designs, for this idea. And when he said that, you know, as creators, again, you know most times that ideas just drop in your lap, like boom, where did you come from? And then you have to act on it, right? And so when he said that a few seconds later, I was like, oh, I know what our next session and what our next idea is going to be. And so here is a collaboration piece. What I want us to do, and perhaps starting on Friday, yes, it's gonna be fun in it, I can't wait. When we meet for our live check-in on Friday, what I'm going to do is have a basket, just like the show, okay, full of items that I have in my craft room. Now, if you watch the show, you know, the show typically gives them maybe four or five items, if I remember correctly, right? And so I'm not going to do that to you because I realize, number one, everyone might not have everything in their craft room and again like I shared with you in our first check-in I don't want to tell you what to get or I don't want to make it too limited like four or five things and then you're forced to go out because I wouldn't feel well my darlings if you guys went out and something happened to you okay so I might mix it up and I might put maybe eight or ten things in the basket and here is the challenge or the collaboration you guys are going to have to create, yay, thank you. You guys are going to have to create something, okay, with the things that I have presented to you, and then that something, you guys are going to take a picture of it, send it to me either via email, and I will post the channel's email um, in the live chat just shortly, either via email or post it on Instagram on our page, right? By tagging me in it. If you don't have Instagram, send me an email tagging me in it so that I can judge what has been created. And then once I judge what has been created, I will have a winner for the month. So we're going to do this collaboration once a month every month okay now here's the thing we can't of course call it chopped I don't want <laughs> the Food Network coming after me for the rights of their title that's not what we're doing on this channel we do not copycat on this channel okay and so we are in need of a catchy name for our collaboration and our competition so let's see if we can come up with some ideas in the chat room so that I can write them down and we can probably perhaps vote on it. But I think, yes, T, I think I miss focus and Annette that this is going to be fun. I want, for even for myself, of course, I'm not going to judge myself, but I'm going to participate. I want to see just how much we are going to be able to stretch our imagination and our creative muscle to use the things that we should as crafters already have in our homes so I am excited for this new direction so like I said thank you Katrina um, this collaboration is going to be a once a month collaboration okay 
and I'm writing as I talk because like my daddy says, it's so funny. I remember years ago, I probably could have been in my 30s, early 30s, and we were talking. He and my mom were visiting. They were here, and we were talking, and something caught my attention, uh, probably the TV. I can't remember, and I turned my head, and I looked at whatever had caught my attention. When I turned back to continue the conversation with my father, I said, what were we talking about again? <laughs> Right? And just like that, my father said, he, he chuckled to himself and he, he said, you know, it's about time you start walking with your little pad and you need to start jotting things down because, you know, th this is the beginning of what we call senior moments. And him and I had a good laugh about that. And then, of course, I was like, no, I'm not there yet. I'm in my early 30s, daddy. I don't know what you talking about, but that's not what happens. That's not what's happening. Something took my attention. Well, suffice it to say, like we said, home, long story short. Yes, my accent just came out. I am now finding that I have to keep journals around me, around the house, to write stuff down, lest something else catches my attention and it goes away forever. <laughs> Yay, Annette, everybody, let's welcome Annette as our new member. Thank you for joining. Yay, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so um, yes, I have to write it down. So once a month collaboration, right? Um, when you create your item, or first let me say there's going to be a basket with 8 to 10 items, right? I am not going to include your adhesive mediums because, again, whatever you have at home, that's what you're going to use. Whether you're using your hot glue gun, your permanent glue, a two-part epoxy, nails, wood, it is up to you to create with what I show you guys. And then um, we will have um, a winner for the month. And of course, we'll get pictures of the winner and their craft. It'll be posted in our community section. It'll be posted on Instagram. We'll post it on our Facebook page. Um, and then the next month, I will give you guys another basket of eight to 10 items, and then we will go again, okay? I am so excited. But like I said, we are going to need a catchy name because we, not, we cannot steal um, TV networks, Hemi TV networks, the Food Network's name of their show, okay? Let's see. Vicky says, good question. So with all the items in the basket, no. So that's how we're gonna variate this um, because like I said, I don't want to only give you four or five items and then you can't put those four or five items together. So I'm going to give you a selection of eight to 10 and then you can choose, I would say four to five is a good number, cutting that number eight to 10 in half. So if you get eight things, you know, four to the eight, or if you get 10 things, five to the 10, um, you will not have to use everything, but you will have to incorporate at least half of the basket. So let me write that down. Um, incorporate half of the basket. Okay, so if you get eight items, you will have to use four through eight of them. And if you get 10 items, you can use five through all 10 of them, okay? That was an awesome question, Miss Vicky. Thank you so much for asking it. Yes, Dorothy, it is going to be fun, 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 fun. <gasps> Miss Focus. Did we see what Miss Focus said in the chat room? Miss Focus says mix and make. I like that. Mix and make. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Can we come up with any other ideas? Mix and make. It almost sounds, um, it's focused like we're shaking things up a little bit. And like I said, this is what I want us to do on our channel still with the central idea of creating and crafting, but incorporating new things. All right. This is what um, we want to do. So yes, mix and make. I like that. I like that. Anyone else have any idea of what we could possibly name this new series? Guys, I am so 
Creative Minds, Vicky Richardson says, um, Creative Minds, I'm writing it down, Vicky, you see, I'm writing it down. So this is Vicky Richardson. Let me write down you guys' names too, and Miss Focus. Um, I was so, 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 there's a song playing in my head. <laughs> excited um, when the idea dropped in my lap and like I said we have to thank uh, One Way Designs for giving me the idea for tonight because it's almost as if for tonight's show it's almost as if those ideas can you shake your own hand yes went hand in hand and you know once he said this is what we should talk about tonight I said yeah <gasps> I know what we're going to do so thank you thank you thank you yes crafty crafters Natasha Mitchell Crafty crafters. I like that. Um, Natasha Mitchell. Mix and make sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like these three names so far. Mix and make, creative minds, crafty crafters. Let's just keep it going. So I'm excited, girl. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, Liz Rodriguez. I like that too. Pick. And if I'm using my teacher brain right now, right? And emphasizing my teacher brain along with my language and my writing brain. And how I would use that title, Liz, is pick, period, choose, period, create, period. I like it. 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 So Liz says pick. You guys are awesome. Choose, create. You know what they say, two minds are better than one. Liz Rodriguez. Okay, Miss Focus also says basket surprise. Okay. I like it, I like it, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is going to be amazing, my darlings. And like I said, we're just trying to stretch our creative minds and to do things a little differently. You know, one of the things my father, and I remember, and you know, I used to get punished for this. And my father always used to tell me, I did not raise a follower. I raised you to be a leader. And it, that was so ingrained in me in my life that um, if I found that I was doing something and somebody else started to do that same something, listen, I was, I was done. I was picking up my ball and I was going home. I'm not doing this anymore because I could hear my father saying, don't be a follower, be a leader. And so, of course, like I see, you know, there's so many of the same things going on. And I, I just don't want to be a part of the pack um, in everything that I do, as well as in everything that my children do, because I've trained them the same way, and everything, of course, that we do together as a channel. I want us to stand out. And so this is just another way for us to do just that. When we started our Craft With Me Live, never would I have thought that it would have been picked up um, you know, without, oh, that's a good idea, Miss Danielle. You know, let's talk about it. It was just picked up. And so now that that is out there, and of course, there's no me pulling it back. And of course, I'm not going to give it up because it was my initiative. But at the same time, I want us to do new things so that we are always staying ahead of the curve and we are not intermingling with the pack. That is not what I want. That is not what I can have for myself. So this is where my brain is with that. So let's see. Cut or fold. Okay, Katrina says, mix and make sounds good. Pick, choose, create. I got that one, basket surprise. Okay, Katrina also says, no, Katrina says, unique crafter. I like that. So that's Katrina Simmons. You guys are awesome. I am loving these ideas. Miss T. Harris is saying cut or fold. 
Oh. Oh, pitch is you make the cut or fold and fail. Miss T, I like that. Cut or fold, and the tagline is, oh, you make the cut, you make the cut, or you fold and fail. Yikes. I like that. It's kind of evil, but I like it. Oh my gosh. And this was Miss T. Harris. And we just write your name. So if we decide to go that route, I can give you full credit for our title, you ladies. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see. Dose, Dominique says, hello, sorry a little late, the best crafter out there. Oh, okay. The best crafter out there. Let me write that down too. I like it. The best crafter out there. Yeah. Do, let me see how I spelled her name. James. <laughs> I like it. What about... Okay, T, guys, come on. Yeah, T is just running rough shot on you guys. I like that. DIY or bye bye. I like that too. DIY or bye bye. Woo, we can make that. Yeah, that is a good one. Will this be a successful DIY or bye bye? Girl, let me ask you a question. Do you work for TV? Cause I may need to I may need to hire you and put you on my my production team, girl. You are coming up not only with titles, but with the taglines too. Come on. DIY or bye bye. Will this be a successful DIY or bye bye? <laughs> I like that. And this is T. Harris again. Ooh. Look at what Miss Vicky says. Craft appetite. That sounds so Parisian. I like that too. Craft appetite. I like that. Look at my crafters, you all. Oh, you guys are going to make me cry. Awesome. Yeah, your ideas are good. Thank you. DIY. <laughs> one, one way. You're voting already. We haven't opened up the vote yet. He's like, DIY or bye-bye. I like that too. The problem is there's so many good ones. So it's like, you know, I have to choose. How do I choose just one, you know? These are awesome, awesome ideas. So we are going to kick this off. Hey, All That Plus, how are you? Thank you, thank you for joining us. Girl, you just missed the fun. I will recap in a minute. Um, so on Friday, I am going to have our first basket filled. Dulce, hola mi amor. Hello, 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 how are you? We are going to have our first basket on Friday in which I will present to you either eight or 10 items for you to create something with. So for those of you who are just joining us, I would like to, well not I would like to, it's a done deal now. We are starting a new series on our channel, which is going to be a monthly series in which we are going to compete one against the other to create an item using a mystery basket of crafting supplies, okay? When I share that basket with you guys, if you want to compete, it's a collaboration, you guys are going to be asked to create something 
with those items. Again, if you get eight items, you have to use four or more. If you get 10 items, you have to use five or more. And then once you have created your piece, you are going to either take a picture of it and post it on Instagram and tag me on Instagram page and tag me on it. Or if you do not have an Instagram account, you are going to send me an email to our channel's email and then I will judge the item and whoever, excuse me, wins will be our crafter of the month. And so what we have been doing for the past last few minutes is coming up with um, names for our show. I got the idea because in talking to One Way Designs today, he suggested that we talk about what tonight was our focus. How do we craft using our surplus supplies or what we already have in our house? And when he shared that idea with me a few seconds later, this competition just popped in my lap and I said, oh my gosh, I know what we're going to do next. And so this is going to be a collaboration slash competition and we are going to, we are going to crown a winner every month okay and that winner their picture will be posted on instagram and our facebook page um and perhaps as soon as this is lifted and we can you know go back out and intermingle with people perhaps i'll add a prize to it that i can quickly send out in the mail to you but like i said we're on lockdown now so there's no going out and there's no intermingling with people and so you know we may have to um table the prize for now but this is what we have been talking about and your fellow crafters have been coming up with some wonderful 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 ideas and i'm just going to read them again so that you hear you guys hear what we're working with oh i can't wear my glasses because my ears are tucked away so let's see the first one was um, basket surprise or mix and make by Miss Focus. She submitted that. Um, Creative Minds by Miss Vicky Richards. Crafty Crafters by Miss Natasha Mitchell. Pick, Choose, Create by Miss Liz Rodriguez. Unique Crafter by Katrina Simmons. Cut or Fold with the tagline You Make the Cut or Fold and Fail. Miss T. Harris. And Miss T. Harris also had another title and tagline, and her idea was DIY or bye-bye. Will this be a successful DIY or bye-bye? So that was T. Harris's two. Um, Dominique James says, the best crafter out there. And then Vicky Richardson gave us this crafty Parisian. I can see myself wearing a barrette. I might wear a barrette on Friday. Let me see. I can't go anywhere, so I might as well dress up to present to you guys but vicky richardson's was crafty no sorry craft appetite so these are the ideas that we have so far i'm excited too i'm so excited thank you thank you don't say i appreciate that let's see dorothy says mystery crafting let me write that down mystery crafting and that was Dorothy Noble. Thank you, Dorothy, for the idea. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So Annette says, I have a lot of stu uh, stuff. I need to use it. So this is good, and I'm excited. Um, Dulce is excited. Miss Focus can't wait. Oh, another one from Miss Focus. One, two, three, create. Miss Focus, let me write that down. I like that. One, two, three, create. And that was Miss Focus as well. And then One Way says, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I really, really think so. So we already have one rule. Um, again, if you're presented with eight items, you have to use at least half to all. If you're presented with 10 items, you have to use half, which is five to all. Um, submission. So if I'm going to share with you and I'm pulling up my calendar on my phone, that's what I'm doing. Um, so if I present, let's see, Friday is going to be April 10th. 
right? So Friday, April 10th, 2020. So if I present on April 10th, which is a Friday, let's discuss this. Do we need one week to create or would two weeks be better for you guys since we're working from home? Let me know. What are you thinking? Do we want two weeks to create, right? Pictures need to be submitted. So if we do two weeks, right, then that means your pictures should be submitted on April 24th, right, 2020. And then that would give me, because we're doing uh, for a month, right? That would give me until May 8th. Forgive me for not looking at the camera I'm writing. That would give me until May 8th to um, announce the winner. So let me know if that sounds good. I'm thinking a week for you guys to create would be a little too tight. That's just my thoughts. If we want, we can discuss this. Oh, girl, y'all. Look at, look at T, what T just wrote again. And look at one way, stashology. Now you see, I'm going to have a headache tonight. I'm thinking about all of these titles and deciding on which one to choose. I might just have to put it out there on our community page and have you guys vote. Oh my gosh, I like that. I like that. Darling do, oh. Darling do or darling don't. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I'm not laughing that much, but it is kind of funny. Um, and then stashology. I like that. You know, and I'm going to say this, that um, my friend, one way, kind of goes with my new doctorate, right? It actually sounds like a, a study of something. So let's just all put on our cap and gowns and be a part of stashology. You know, that's who we are over here on Danny's Darlings. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have a headache tonight choosing. I'm loving Darlings Do or Darlings Don't. Two weeks. So, okay, so two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Yay, okay, okay. Two weeks. Okay, so what I'm going to do is two weeks to do it. So perfect. So we're going to, you are going to get your items. See your items on Friday, right? Friday is going to be the 10th. You are going to have until the 24th to post your pictures. The 24th, let's say at midnight, okay? So it's going to have to be time stamped. And let me tell you why, because like I said, as soon as outside is opened again, and yes, I just said that, as soon as outside is opened again, we're going to add a price component to our collaboration competition. And so we wanna be able to make sure that we're making it fair um, so that um, once it gets to the competition price stage, no one could say, well, oh, the deadline was the 24th, but you still judged you know, theirs and it was submitted on the 30th. You understand what I'm saying? I would suggest if you don't want to put it out there before the, the expiration date, the deadline of the 24th, then just send me an email with a picture of your item and that way only my eyes see it and you're not putting it out there on Instagram so anyone else could see it and say, oh, that's interesting and kind of, you know, we know where I'm going with this, okay? And so on, and then I will take two weeks to judge and then on May 8th, I will announce our first winner. And then if I'm announcing our first winner on May 8th, then on the 15th of May, God willing, I will show you your next basket and then off you'll be able to go again. How does that sound? How does that sound? How does that sound? Two weeks to do it. Let's see, Vicky, put in a basket and pull a name for what? If you can expound on that, let me know. I would really love it. So yes, yes, yes. So this is what we're going to be doing. I, guys, I am so excited. I am so excited. It's new. It's different. We are now going to lead the pack again. And, and then we're going to see. Yeah. Then we're going to see. Ah, Liz, 
I like that little dancey girl. I use that little dancey girl a lot when I am sending texts to my best friend Valerie uh, when we're excited about things. Yeah, I like her in her little red dress. And of course, you guys know you've been with me now for what, two and a half years. That red is my absolute, 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 where is all that plus? Absolute favorite color is red. Red says, see me or I'm not here. That's what red says. So <laughs> I like it. Let's see. So besides our ad adhesives, are we, a hmm, are we able to use other materials such as paints, glitters, florals, etc. Hmm. What do we say? Let's talk it out. What do we say? This is our competition. This is our channel. We do things together. We, I just don't dictate to my audience what we're doing. Well, not here. All right. So let's talk about it. That we have on hand. Yes, that you have on hand. I understood you. Oh, all the submitted names for the craft. Thank you, Vicky. Yes, I may have to do that. I may have to do that. Or we may vote on the community tab. We'll see. Um, but I will let you know which direction we're going to go. So, guys, so One Way Designs, we will take the last three minutes or so, is asking the question, besides adhesives, because remember I said I'm not putting adhesives in the basket, whichever medium you desire to use as your adhesive, um, you can. Um, I'm not going to dictate to you what you can or cannot use in terms of putting it together. Whether you want to use nails and a hammer, if you know, if one of the items is wood, it's entirely up to you. Um, if let's say, for example, you're making a cabinet and you need hinges, you know, hinges, your mechanism is not going to be a part of what we're doing. Um, so one way is asking, are we able to use other materials such as paints, glitters, florals, etc.? So you're talking about embellishments. All right, that's a good question. Yeah, Annette, there you go. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I love it. So there you go, um, One Way Designs. The answer is yes, because Annette answered the question and took away all my no's. She said yes, because on CHOP, they get to use different seasonings. So. So yes, you'll be able to use your embellishments. So I need to write that down, Annette. Um, um, embellishments, you can use your own. Um, use your own. Yes, so that is perfectly okay. <laughs> One way, listen, you can't be laughing at me. Come on now. But yeah, she did kind of steal the show with that answer. She stole, She said the answer and she dropped the mic and twirled away. She's like, of course, anything else would be uncivilized. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes, Sonia agrees, yes. Um, anything we have on hand or at home, yes. I say use it all, yes. Just like CHOP, they're allowed to use other items, but mandatory use, what's in the basket, yes. Um, very good. <laughs> So Liz is getting a laugh on my behalf also. Yes, Annette, that was an awesome answer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys have me laughing out loud. Annette, that was a, uh, please go have several seats. I got this. Yeah, you kind of took over for a few seconds, but that's okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Hi, Rosa. I am fine. Thank you. How are you? Thank you for joining us. So guys, it is now currently 8.01 and you guys know that I honor your time. If you know, we're here, usually on here for an hour. We started roughly at 7.01, 7.02 and now it is 8.01. Unless you guys have any questions for me, or any other clarifications, for this concert, uh, concert, you see where my mind is out <laughs> trying to get out the house. Oh my gosh. For this competition, girl, no apologies. We're joking. It's all good. I love it. I mean, you gave me the answer, so it was fine. Um, unless you guys have anything else, any questions about our competition, any other clarifying factors, then we are gonna call it a night for this evening. Of course, I want to say thank you to all of you who showed up. 
I appreciate that you guys are taking the time to spend with me. I say appreciate, more like humbled. Um, and so please know that I appreciate each and every one of you. I've been saying this to you guys from day one. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are the reason why I sit behind this camera and I am not by myself because you guys, you all know who you are. You turn out every single time and I appreciate it. So I just want to say to you guys, thank you so much for your help tonight in fleshing our idea out. Thank you so much for keeping my company tonight. And of course, I want you guys until Friday, God willing to take care of yourselves, take care of your family, to stay safe and to stay healthy. And of course, I want you guys to know that I love you, love you, love you, love you all. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. And I will see you guys, God willing, on Friday. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night. <laughs> you are most welcome, JLR. You are most welcome. Awesome job. Bye-bye now. Hey, give me a minute.